all right, have a new toy in the uh, in the garage today. Um, in full disclosure, this was given to me by a Banggood. Um, this is a, a Malachite uh, DSP radio. Uh, it's an SDR radio, and it was designed in Russia. And there's lots of clones out, and um, this one is a is a clone, and um, made in China. Frequency range. It says uh, 50 kilohertz to two gigahertz, but that depends on the model. So this particular model uh, supposedly goes to 200 megahertz. So 50 kilohertz to 200 megahertz. So the HF circuit. Um, and to turn it on, you push down the button, uh, has a uh, uh, battery in it that charges with a, a type C. So here you go, uh, looking at a um, Sorry about the glares. Um, this is a FM station that has digital channels and stuff in it with all of the data and everything. So it decodes all kinds of stuff. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you can change how it's displayed and stuff. It has a, a waterfall display. Okay, let's turn off the volume. All right, so there's a bunch of uh, menus at the bottom, one called hard. I guess it's the hardware. Um, you can reverse the way the wheels operate. Um, you can change IQ. You can swap those two. Uh, you can change the way the battery is controlled. Um, you can change the antenna from uh, 50 ohms to high Z. So we're using a, a, a little uh, 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 telescopic antenna that comes with it. So that's a high Z. Um, you can turn the preamp on and off. We'll turn the preamp on, or you can turn on an attenuator. You can send the output to the internal speaker or to a funnel jack. You can change the RF gain. Uh, you can change just some gains internally. You can change the, how much the, you want this preamp gain to be. Uh, anyway, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you can change audio things, um, AGC limits. Um, filtering, you know, wide, normal, narrow. Um, you, there's, an, a, there's a squelch, uh, which is really nice. Uh, visually, you can change the way the waterfall looks and the gain of the waterfall and brightness of the display and all, the, all those types of things. Uh, there's a noise reduction that you can turn on and off. There's no settings for it, I don't think, for the noise reduction. Just pop it on and off and it does work well. Uh, you can change the mode to CW, dual sideband, AM, detector, different types of detectors, um, upper sideband, lower sideband, AM, narrow FM, wide FM, and then there's a, actually a CW decoder. I'll show that later. It actually can decode CW and display it right on the, on the screen, which is pretty cool. Um, and then there are memories, and so you can, uh, you can remember things. So, so that's a, there's another channel that you can, you can, you can, uh, store things. All right. So, um, it's not a lot to, to know about this. Um, it is, it's pretty cool. It's a nice size. It seems to be built well. Um, the only complaints I have about it are, is there are some models that have knobs instead of these rotary wheels. And I'd rather have, I think, the model that had the knobs instead of the rotary wheels. Of course, this one is smaller and not as prone to break, maybe. Um, there's not great documentation on using this radio. Um, and so you kind of have to learn a little bit about it yourself. Um, there are some English translated manuals, but they, they're not the greatest things. They don't cover everything, uh, but you can uh, tap on the frequency. You can put in your own, uh, oops, you can put in your own frequency, uh, megahertz, and uh, you can say, okay, I want that to be uh, AM modulation. That's a local, the tower here on the local um, airport. Um, so there you go. Somebody's talking at the tower. Um, one thing I have not been able to figure out, and if one of my viewers knows how to do this, I'm trying to figure out how to change the span of the, of the uh, spectral display. And I don't know how. In the documentation, 
on Rev1 software that seems like there was a menu setting. But this is Rev1.1a, and I can't find how you change. It's set at 160 kilohertz, and it just seems to be fixed. I just, I just don't be able to seem to change that. So if anybody knows how to do that, let me know. Um, let's see, what else do I know, need to know about this, or you need to know about this? Um, there's a bunch of displays at the top here, whether your noise is on, uh, automatic gain is set to slow, there's normal and fast, what type of modulation, AM, if, here's your attenuator, here's your uh, volume, here's your filter, uh, how much battery you've got. Um, it does dim the display after a while, so you push a button, it comes back again. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, all it comes with is the uh, antenna and the uh, and the box itself. Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's a radio and it's fun. It's small. It's it's a shortwave radio. Um, it has upper sideband, lower sideband, CW. The CW decoding is really really cool. Um, so let me show you a couple things here. A slight chance of, a chance of rain. High is 55 to 70. Monday and Monday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of rain. High is 55 to 70. Lows 40 to 50. Tuesday and Tuesday night, a chance of rain. All I heard was check, Bill, and I knew it was you. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'll be all here, and I just uh, <laughs> just got my booster shot, Moderna, so we'll see what it does to me today. Right. Um, I found that this radio will work above 200 megahertz in strange ways. Uh, right now I've got 500 megahertz coming in. I'm getting a tone and I'm getting uh, a spectral display. But if I go to 200 megahertz and I'll turn on the generator to 200. Sort of working. Now if I go to 250 to 50, oops, back up, back up, megahertz. It says out of range. I want to push the megahertz button. It says out of range. But if I say five, oops, five, it's kind of a slow, input 500 megahertz. It goes right there and it doesn't complain. And then when I turn on 500, it works. It doesn't work at a gigahertz. In fact, I don't think it worked at 700 megahertz, but it seems to work at 500 megahertz. So I don't know what the deal is. Um, somebody knows, let me know. But the radio is spec'd at 200, um, but it does seem to go above sometimes. Let's try 440, that would be interesting. Or 40 megahertz. You can see the spectral display, but I, I'm not getting any tone. <laughs> it's not, it's not demodulating it correctly. So it wouldn't work on two meters or uh, 70 centimeters. So yeah, kind of a weird thing. Okay, there you go. That's an introduction to this. Uh, uh, I think it's called Malachite uh, radio, and. Um, if you want to pick one up, I'll put a link down below. I get a couple bucks if you buy it from uh, from them. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a fun toy.